In the general history of personal computing, storage had always been the greatest bottleneck in terms of performance. Throughout time, we have managed to develop better I.O. throughout better storage mediums that we have developed. RAID 0, however, is one of the ways which performance bottlenecking can be reduced. What is it, and why did I resort to using it in my main machine? All of that and more coming right up. First off, what even is RAID 0? Also known as disk striping, it is a storage technique that breaks up the file and spreads the data across all the disk drives in a RAID group. This means you can plug in multiple data volumes, such as hard drives or SSDs, RAID them, and they may end up being seen as a single drive volume inside the system. I have a link in the description below for those interested on someone who may explain this better than I can and goes into far more detail on the different types of RAID arrays that are available. So, as some of you may know, I'm sporting a relatively vintage machine with some bells and whistles. A 2007 Mac Pro, for example, is limited to 375 megabytes per second theoretically under SATA 2.0. With a modern 5400 RPM hard drive, we can expect some pretty mediocre results with the I.O. speeds. With my current dual 250GB SSD RAID 0 setup, we can begin to see some pretty decent results. But what about a 4-way RAID 0? I thought of this as a final, all-out solution, since the logic board architecture limits the PCIe SSD speeds to 275MB per second on this particular model, which sucks. That and the price of 240GB SSDs have dropped significantly. I received the other two SSDs in the mail today. Right here. Getting ready for the upgrade. So, following my own procedures, I knew I would have to break up my current array in order to proceed with a four-way array and complete the setup. I plugged in the generic hard drive into a different Mac Pro of mine, put that into target disk mode, cloning my array over to the hard drive via FireWire 800. Then, I wiped my two SSDs and broke up the array, shut down my computer, plugged two other SSDs into the other two remaining SATA ports, plugged in the 3TB hard drive into the optical bay using the onboard SATA ports, and booted the computer off of the external volume inside the other Mac Pro that is in target disk mode. After setting up the 4-way RAID 0 SSD setup as a single volume, I proceeded to clone the drive I cloned over to, to the generic hard drive, back over to the new 4-way array, and awaited the results. And now, the moment we've been all waiting for. Did I do it? Did I manage to get a breakneck lightning speed and knock past the 1 gigabyte per second barrier that 4 SSDs could potentially achieve? Not quite, and not even close. Following the law of diminished results, as well as using a mixed set of SSDs in the array between two Sega SSDs, a Samsung EVO 850 SSD, and a SanDisk SSD, the mix could have caused the array to not perform as well as it could have. This also could be attributed to my 256K stripe setting for the array, as well as the fact that there may be potential bottlenecking elsewhere in the system, however, this is very highly unlikely. Disappointing? Slightly. Maybe even more so to others, but who cares? <laughs> Although this is not 100% what I wanted, I did certainly see a 20% read-write performance increase, and I did double my data storage. I resorted to this type of setup as I do favor performance on my current machine over anything, and the compatibility of the components with newer types of devices ensures a relatively seamless transition when I do eventually transition to newer hardware. Either way, I'm content with my current outcome as I will be seeking solutions to greater performance compatibility and capabilities. So, at the end of all this, what can be learned? I increased my performance and storage with diminishing results. Now, take it from me personally, I love my hobby and I strongly enjoy what I do as much as I'm told that it isn't always to my benefit. Whether it's due to the old hardware or the fact that I have newer machines or could have a newer machine, I could care less because I enjoy what I do. Take it from me personally, don't use this video to try to justify putting four SSDs into an old machine like mine. <laughs> you could always put these in a newer machine with better architecture and better performance. With that being said, thank you so very much for watching. Leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, dislike if you dislike the video. I'll leave a video up for you guys soon with yet another upgrade, putting a GTX 960 out of my system and putting a GTX 980 into my system. This is Super Ice Cream Sandwich over and out.